Welcome to a little bit of Common Crazy. Today I'm gonna to share with you five things that you need to go clean now. Hi, my name is Jennifer and my goal here is to find more calm in the crazy and put some order to the chaos. I'm a busy mom of three. So for something to get overlooked, I'm not really surprised. And that is how I found these five things that I am going to share with you today. But before we get started, could you please take a moment, if you haven't, and subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you'll be notified every time that I upload a video. Let me give you a little bit of background. The other day I was going out of my garage and I turned to push the button to open it and I looked back and it was nasty. It was so gross and I needed to stop and clean it right then. And I wondered, what else? have I not been cleaning that needs to be cleaned. So not only do I have five things with you that you need to clean now, but I also have a bonus at the end. So stay tuned all the way to the end so you don't miss the bonus. Number one, you need to go clean the steering wheel of your car like today. Just think about it. Think about all the different times that you touch it after you've been to all the different places that you've been to the store, the gas station, your kid's school, work, whatever it is. You have sh touched things, touched people. Just go and clean your steering wheel and you'll thank me later. Number two, we're just gonna call this knobs and handles. You need to go take a disinfectant wipe to the inside and the outside of your knobs and your handles in your home, in your car. If you turn it, pull it, open it somehow, go wipe it down. Because again, hands that touch everything are touching those. Not just your hands, my hands, friends' hands, kids' hands, lots of hands. Go wipe down your knobs and handles. Number three. This is not gonna surprise you. Light switches. Do I need to say anything else? You know that one. Look, we touch them. My kids touch them. I'd like to tell you that I never have to send a kid back to wash their hands after going to the bathroom. Never. But that wouldn't be the honest truth. And I know that my kid probably touched the light switch. So, yeah. Those need to be disinfected. <sighs> Number four, the whole thing that got me thinking of this list, garage door openers. And not just the ones inside of your garage that you push in order to open the door to go out, but also the ones that are in your car. I am pretty sure I have never disinfected the ones in my car. It never occurred to me. I don't see dust on them. I don't think about when I'm wiping down my car to reach up and wipe down up there either. I won't forget those again. Just thinking about all the things I've touched and then touch those. Yeah. Yeah. No. Number five, your phone. We touch everything again and touch our phone and then our phone touches our face or gets close to her mouth. No, go wipe down your phone. Just go wipe down your phone. Number six, this is your bonus. Makeup brushes. When is the last time that you washed your makeup brushes? If ever. They touch our face, they touch the product, they get bacteria, there's oil, there's they get nasty. If your makeup brush, you can kind of part it and it kind of sticks, you are way overdue to wash your makeup brush. Now I'm showing you a cleanser here that I use, but you can use baby shampoo and there are other options. If you want more information on how to wash makeup brushes, you can ask me some questions or you're welcome to Google it or whatever you want, but please take the time to wash your makeup brushes. They need to be washed more often. 
Before you go wash these items, don't forget to give my video a big thumbs up and make sure that you have subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Go, go wash now, go.